Oh my god. Dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all good, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I was oh, filming the Lord. whole time. Yo, are you okay? I'm totally fine. I think I just got oh. a really sick clip though. How's it going guys? I'm Josh and right now I'm sitting on what is my lifelong dream. I built a backyard mini ramp at my place in Brooklyn and it is a beautiful, beautiful beast right now. So I want to talk today about first how I built it as well as all the people who put in their amazing help making it what it is today because I could not have done this myself by any means. And I want to end this video with a session because I am learning so many new tricks. And throughout I'll be showing all of the documentation I, I did because I've taken so many photos and videos of this process and would love to share them with you. So starting off I want to talk about how special this ramp is to me because it didn't just start with this idea of, no, like I got a backyard, let's build a ramp. This is something I've always wanted to do. Since the days that I first started skateboarding, I was always building little janky setups in my garage, in my backyard, in my cul-de-sac. And, and it was usually just like a piece of plywood leveraged up on a bunch of random stuff I had lying around my garage. Uh, I have a ton of fondness for these setups that I think a lot of skateboarders did back in the day because it's just resourceful. It's making do with what you have. Even if it might fall over at any given second, it's still a beautiful thing and that's how you get better. But this right here is the most permanent structure and largest, most grand thing I've ever built. Another reason why this ramp is ridiculously special is the community that it's been building. And I know it might sound hokey to say that, but finding community in the city is hard when everyone is out there doing their own thing. And this has brought so many amazing people together. There are a number of people who I am internally indebted for, for their amazing work in making this ramp possible. So working backwards, I wanna start with all the incredible artists that came through and beautified my ramp. And I'm gonna give all their Instagrams linked down below because they're all so ridiculously talented. They do some really cool street art and highly, highly worth following them. So we've got Foxface over here with the most nice pink green colors. Aiden Stadler with a phenomenal elephant. Bo with the three lovely faces. Angelo or Plasma Slug with his signature slug. So, so sick. And my friend Noah Kloster with this guy right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Good and Shitty on the side with the sickest, sickest piece. I love his style. These guys all came through so hard. I made them all spinach lasagna and we had such a nice day. All these pieces are so incredible. Skating this feels like I'm riding a gallery. It's such a treat. Next off, massive, massive shout out to Meserol Bike and Skate Shop. These guys are a really, really awesome shop out of Bushwick and they came through in helping build this ramp. Honestly, I know nothing about building and they came in and they're like, this is what you're gonna need. These are the materials you're gonna get. This is how we're gonna do it. And then they came and helped build it. It really would not have happened without Andrew York, Joey Monsta. These guys are the absolute best and I owe so much to them. Joey just took the entire project under his hands and just and made this beautifully sturdy ramp. I would be so absolutely useless without them. So huge, huge thank you to them. And if you were ever in the Brooklyn area looking for bike or skate parts, that is the place you want to be because they're, they're the best there. Shout out to all of my friends who were ridiculously generous with their time. Even those that don't skate, just they came and they helped because they thought it was an awesome project and they rallied behind that and I think that's so special that I have friends like that. And also shout out to all my friends that don't skate who are trying to skate now because People like you, Quinn, are the best, and I enjoy watching you eat it, trying to drop in on my ramp. And cheers to many more people like that. And finally, a massive, massive thanks to my neighbors, the 90% of whom are super down for it and think this ramp is the coolest thing ever, and even the 10% that absolutely hate me and now want to be my enemy, just by product of circumstances. It's still been very cool getting to know all my neighbors, and that's, that's super cool. This guy over here gives me fresh chili peppers from his garden. It's, it's a very wholesome thing, and I, I, I love it. And it's so nice to actually know my neighbors, because no one does that in New York. And just to now be on a first name basis with my entire building and the buildings next to me, 
What, what a treat. Another really cool thing about this ramp is how inclusive it's become. Uh, two of the most incredible people in helping get this built are my friends John and Saki. They're two professional scooters and they're so beyond talented. It's, it's the coolest thing ever to watch them skate this. And they were there every single day helping build the ramp, helping dig a trench for water that floods when this place rains. Most important neighbor, my roommate Carly. She has been so beyond down for this entire process. Super, super supportive. Her dad even helped me write a waiver for people to sign before they skate the ramp so I don't get sued into oblivion. And that is a very, very special thing. So I'm, I'm so stoked on her and her family for all that. Also, a side note, I dug up a couple of bones while I was, I was leveling the ground for this ramp. I, I'm really hoping and I'm pretty sure that this is an animal bone, but if anyone watching this has any sort of idea, let me know in the comments, unless it's a human bone. In which case, I really, I really don't want to know. So, pretty sure Mafia territory was further west, so I think I'm good. I don't know. Lastly, there are so many more people who've been beyond helpful in getting this project off the ground, and I don't have the time to list them all, but know that if you had any sort of hand in coming and helping, I am so, so beyond grateful. This is truly something I've always wanted to do. I don't have that many long-term goals in life, but this ramp was definitely one of them, and it's... It's unbelievable that I have this. Before we jump into the montage, I have a quick challenge for you guys. So first of all, I wanna know what tricks I should be trying on this ramp. I have a whole list, but I'd love some suggestions. Second of all, what should I name this ramp? I'm looking for a cool creative ramp name. I'm thinking maybe bone ramp because, you know, dead bodies and all that, but maybe something else. So I'd love to see what you guys are thinking. And if there's a really sick name in the comments, I will let you know that I chose it because nothing more fun than naming stuff. Anyway guys, enjoy the montage and I will see you eventually.
hope you guys enjoyed that. I have so many more tricks to learn on this thing and I'm skating it all the time. So much, much more footage coming soon. And in the meantime, let me know if you have any ideas for names, subscribe for more videos, and be sure to check out all the people who help make this ramp possible. Links in the description because they are amazing people who do really great things and are worth, worth following. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you eventually. I'm gonna go work on Switch Blunt to regulars. Go ahead, I've been caught, I hope you have not